Did you like my new title? If you're new here, then you may not know about the title that I usually use, but welcome. My name is Adrian. I make tutorials on video editing. I have a few uh, free things that are linked down in the description box below if you're interested. And let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump right into how I made that cinematic title. As you can see, I have Premiere open and a new project ready to go. The first thing that we are going to do, I want you to go down to the toolbar and click on the type tool, head up to the program monitor, click and start typing whatever the title of your video is gonna be. I'm gonna use crafted video. Now I know the first thing that you noticed, probably, is that the background went transparent, my text is white, you can't see it. Don't worry, that's the second thing we're going to fix, the first thing I just want to point out really quickly, if we go down to the timeline, you can see that the graphic text that you created is five seconds long. That is just an automatic length. For our purposes, I want you to drag out the end all the way out to 10 seconds. Now we're going to make changes to your title to just give it a little bit more personality. I'm gonna highlight the whole thing, head over to the properties tab. I know Arial is a generic text or a generic font, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna use something generic. So I'll change my font to Arial regular. I'm gonna up the font size just a little bit. I want it to be aligned to the center. And I just realized you can't see anything that I'm doing. So we're going to change it to uh, black. We're going to change the fill to black. So now you can see the text. I want to make everything all caps. I know you can press all caps on your keyboard and type. Maybe you forgot and you want to do it retroactively. You can come here and press this button and it makes your title all caps. I also want to change the spacing between each letter. Go over to your program monitor and highlight all of your title except for that last letter. You don't want any spacing to come after that last letter. This right here changes your spacing. Scroll all the way down under properties, you'll see align and transform. I want my title to be in the center of the program monitor. So I'm going to click align center horizontally and align center vertically. Now I'm sure that one of the first things that you noticed about that title was that the text is mirrored. So that is the first effect that we're going to apply. I want to deselect my title, head over to the effects panel and type in mirror. Drag and drop it onto the clip on the timeline. Head over to effect controls. You'll see it here, mirror. First thing I want you to do is go to reflection angle and change it to 90 degrees. You can see in the program monitor that a little bit of a reflection has been created. Go up above that to reflection center and I want you to drag that center up until the text disappears. Perfect. Click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Go down to your timeline, drag the playhead all the way to the end of the clip. Go back up to reflection center and drag the reflected text way down to the bottom of the program monitor. That adds another keyframe and I want you to make sure to ease in that keyframe. The next thing we're gonna do is add a mask in order to make that mirrored text completely disappear. We're still on effect controls. I want you to scroll down to opacity and select the rectangle mask. Make sure the mask is over the original title, not the mirrored text. Now I want you to go down to mask feather and up that feathering a lot. When we play it back, you can see the mirror text slowly disappear behind that mask. 
doesn't quite disappear. So let's move it up just a little. There we go. Now you can really see it disappear behind the mask. Next, I want to add some blur, but I only want to apply it to the mirrored text. To do that, we add an adjustment layer. Head over to your project panel, go down to the bottom under new item and select adjustment layer. You'll see it appear in your project panel. I want you to take it and drag it down to your timeline. And then you need to pull it out so it's the same length as your title graphic. Go up to effects and search for the Gaussian blur. Drag and drop it onto that adjustment layer. Head over to Effect Controls and you'll see the Gaussian Blur down here. Underneath Gaussian Blur, you can see blurriness. I want you to up the blurriness a lot. Then go down to Blur Dimensions and select Horizontal. You can see that the Gaussian Blur is blurring everything on our title, but we only want it to be applied to the mirrored text. To do that, we need to add uh, a mask under opacity still on the adjustment layer. So our adjustment layer is still selected. I want you to go up to opacity and add another rectangular mask. I'm going to move that mask down below our original text, pull it way out so that it covers everything. I'm going to pull it halfway on the words. And then I want to, again, feather that mask. I'm going to stop the feathering just underneath the original title. Now you can see that the Gaussian blur is only being applied to the mirrored text as it disappears. Let's make one more small tweak. I want to go down to the timeline, select both layers, right click, Go down to nest. Let's nest this sequence. I'm going to select that nested sequence on the timeline. Make sure your playhead is at the top of the clip. Go over to effect controls and click scale. Head back down to your timeline. Drag your playhead to the very end of the clip. Head back up to scale and change it a little bit. We're going to make the text just a little bit bigger. Again, go to that keyframe and click ease in. Now, congratulations, you've created a title that appears and then mirrors and then blurs as it slowly disappears from screen as your title gets a little bit bigger over the course of 10 seconds. Now we can have a little bit of fun. Let's add a background, let's add some sound effects, and really make something special. I'm going to move my nested sequence up to the second track on the timeline. Go over to my project. I have a clip here ready to go. I'm going to drag and drop it down. Click my selection tool. I'm going to drag crafted video to be right over the mountains there so that my reflected text kind of disappears into the water. Head back over to the project panel. I have some sound effects ready to go. This is the sound of waves, some water birds. I think maybe a boat is in there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of music as well. And that's it for me. That's exactly step-by-step step how I created the opening titles from this video. If you have any of your own tips or tricks that are similar to this kind of title sequence, please don't keep them to yourself. Leave a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Of the text appearing and dropping down below, Always double check your batteries. Pro tip.